Hey everybody, it's Wednesday. Welcome to, welcome, welcome, welcome to Winning Wednesday. We're gonna be talking about preeclampsia today and I got four challenging NCLEX questions for you on today. Now, speaking of challenges, we got the 50, 30, it's just 30, it's 30. <laughs> Why did I say 50? Hi, everybody. Welcome to Winning Wednesday. We're going to be talking about preeclampsia, and we are in the middle of the 30-day NCLEX challenge. That's the one. 30-day NCLEX challenge. It's happening right now, and I don't know. There's some discrepancy about whether this is free or not. This is absolutely free. You can sign up for it at remarnurse.com forward slash 30 days, 30 days. And the reason why this is free, I don't know. The reason why this is free is because you can do the 30 day challenge in the free trial of the V2. So even if you have the trial version, you can still see those videos that I'm releasing every day. All right. So it's a free challenge. Take it. Another thing is we also have the love your content, love your nursing content review. And I am so excited about this Valentine's Day not because I think I'm going to get a whole bunch of chocolate or flowers or, or candy, but because I'm doing this NCLEX review with you guys and we get to spend it together as a community. So that's going to be February 15th and 16th. If you have not signed up for it, please do, because of course, we're going to put out a workbook and we're going to have some NCLEX questions uh, all ready for that. So Love your content. Again, this is another free event that we have. We told you guys this year, we were really going to pour into the community to make sure that you guys are confident no matter what month you are testing in. And so uh, rebarnurse.com forward slash ha 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 love L-O-V-E. Yeah, it's a thing. It's a thing. It's a thing here at Remar. We we love each other. Don't we, we love each other. So we do things like this, which is spending time together. Somebody's love language is quality time and you're getting your needs met with Remar. All right. Tonight we are talking about preeclampsia. This is a subject that I go over in V2. Now I'm going over it again because um, I think, I just want to make sure that for those of you who uh, who won't get it, who are just watchers of YouTube, I want you guys to have this information before you test for NCLEX. And I have four challenging NCLEX questions for you. On Monday Motivation this week, somebody got in the comments and said, oh, these, these questions are too easy. So tonight, I made the question super challenging. So, and I'm only giving you four. So if there's anybody that can get a four out of four on these questions, I'm commending you right now because they are super difficult. I'm just telling you that right up front. But we're gonna get into preeclampsia. Again, like I said, this is something in the um, in the NCLEX V2, but let's, let's review it now together. So when we talk about preeclampsia, we understand that preeclampsia literally is a, it's a multi-system disorder, meaning that it's not just, um, it's not just associated with pregnancy. It, it, it's not just one organ, it's multi-systems are involved. But when you have a pregnant client, there is a development of hypertension to the extent of 140 over 90 for that blood pressure. And this is typically seen with proteinuria after the 20th week of pregnancy. So this is a, a pregnancy well into development. And all of a sudden, the patient will develop certain signs and symptoms that you must know for NCLEX. So um, a particular thing about the signs and symptoms of preeclampsia is that these are in a direct relationship to the growing fetus, meaning that the woman previously did not have these issues, so this is a new condition. According to the CDC, the preeclampsia is very common in the United States. One in 25 pregnancies will experience this condition. Another thing we need to know for NCLEX are risk factors. We want to know who is more likely to have preeclampsia. Well, it will be the person with a family history a new mom, first time pregnancies, experience preeclampsia. If there is some placental abnormalities, remember we talked about the placenta being an endocrine organ. So 
when it is producing its own hormones, there may be some abnormalities with that. Obesity, obesity, and pre-existing vascular diseases. Now, preeclampsia can definitely cause some vascular changes in our patients. So a lot of teaching is involved when it comes to preeclampsia. This review is for registered nurses and practical nurses. All, all parties should be here in class today. So remember I said that there are a consensus that, you know, preeclampsia is unknown really what triggers it, but there are some causes that can be identified or recognized. For example, if a patient had preeclampsia before, they're more likely to experience it on a subsequent pregnancy. Uh, being pregnant with more than one baby at a time increases your risk of having this complication. If a patient has chronic hypertension as a prevalent condition in the past, diabetes mellitus, type one or two, type one or two, kidney diseases, and also an autoimmune disorder. The expectation here is that if you're in nursing school or if you've already graduated nursing school, these terms that I'm using, they're common to you. I don't need to say what chronic hypertension is, diabetes mellitus, or autoimmune disorders. This is a, a lecture for nurses who are well into their studies today. So we're talking about the causes. Let's talk about the signs and symptoms. The signs and symptoms of preeclampsia. We have hypertension. There is uh, proteinuria. And so what I'm giving you guys are the general signs and clinical presentations of preeclampsia right now. I'm going to go to a more severe presentation of it with a little bit more uh, specifics of the numbers associated. But in general, these are the things that we would see for preeclampsia. We're going to see hypertension, proteinuria, oedema, and the face, abdominal wall, and vulva. I put this term on here. What's the difference between oedema and edema? Does anybody know? I, I just a little challenging question. I personally, I just finished this Winning Wednesday about, I don't know, 40 minutes ago. And I said, I'm going to put oedema on here and see if the Remar nurses know the difference between oedema and edema. What do you guys say? <laughs> All right. Um, Shout out to Drina's life. I see you here. I passed the LPN NCLEX January 13th. Congratulations. Hey, winning Wednesday, everybody who is winning. Hi, Remar. Hi, Sina. I passed my NCLEX RN. Thanks. Thank you for all you do and bless you and your family. My family, thank you so much. I got our patient, our ex-patient that we had, if you were here for seven days at NCLEX, Robert Hughes is back and he is watching this live. Shout out to him in the house. Uh, we appreciate his participation always. So I asked the question, I asked the question, um, what is the difference between oedema and edema? And everybody is getting it. It's, it's essentially no no, no difference, no difference at all. Just um, a matter of terminology and familiarity. The more you read medical, uh, the more you read medical reports, you will see that this is interchangeable depending on the, the context or the person who is speaking. So in other countries, oedema is something that you will commonly see. All right, Remar nurses, here we go. Fatigue, weight gain, blurry vision, and uh, decrease urination, decrease urination. Okay, here we go. And we're talking about the, the, the signs and symptoms. Now let's look at the severe signs and symptoms, severe signs and symptoms. And so this is gonna be more specific. So when preeclampsia is really escalating, we have a blood pressure over 160, uh, 160 over 110. So really high, right? Proteinuria, 
over five grams in 24 hours. That's a lot of protein in the urine, guys, a lot of protein. Oliguria, where we're having less than 400 milliliters of urine in 24 hours, which you guys know the, the standard that we're looking for, and this is not gonna meet that standard. Platelet count uh, increases the risk for blood clots here. HELP syndrome, HELP syndrome. You need to know HELP syndrome for NCLEX. It's a medical emergency in pregnancy. Those letters each stand for something. Put it in the comments if you know it. YouTube, Facebook, H-E-L-L-P. H-E-L-L-P. Put that in the comments if you know those four um those, what was it for? What is this? Three, 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 three conditions and help syndrome. Okay. All right. Um, interuterine growth restriction. Yep. That is going to be a, uh, a condition of severe, severe preeclampsia that's going to affect that baby. Epigastric pain. Patient can also com uh, report shoulder pain too, right? Right lower quadrant pain, epigastric pain pulmonary edema and eclampsia. Somebody who did V2 or who has taken my lectures previously, put in the comments, what's the difference between preeclampsia and eclampsia? What's the difference? They're not the same. Uh, eclampsia is worse because what does eclampsia have that preeclampsia doesn't have? I'm so glad you guys showed up to Winning Wednesday. This is what we do every Wednesday around nine-ish o'clock when everybody is like winding down and other NCLEX reviews are calling it a night. Guess what we're doing? Remar Review is starting up alive here with you and we're going over the content. Number one NCLEX instructor is present tonight. Okay, yes, eclampsia, that's seizures, 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 and preeclampsia, you don't have seizures. So how do we diagnose this thing here, preeclampsia, going to do some blood pressure monitoring. Blood pressure monitoring is expected anyways. Whenever you have a pregnant client and she comes in for an evaluation, you have your you have your blood pressure monitoring. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Urine sample. And look, remember I said over five grams of protein is considered severe preeclampsia, but if you have like in, any protein, you should not have protein in your urine period. And so 0.3 grams of protein in a 24 hour period gives us the, uh, the indication that this patient might have preeclampsia. The blood, uh, blood tests, we're looking at the albumin and the creatinine ratio to see how those are going for our patient liver function tests and a Doppler ultrasound. Those are all going to be needed to diagnose this condition in pregnancy. Treatment, of course we have medical treatment, medications. So antihypertensives are gonna be given to address the, the, the high blood pressure, right? Antiemetics because our patient will, uh, will have issues with nausea and vomiting and anti-seizure medications as well. We also want to give the prenatal vitamins because our baby is at risk for either preterm labor, preterm labor or, or a growth restriction issue. We want to make sure that our baby is getting the vitamins that they need. And the underlying condition here with preeclampsia, one of it is hypertension. So we know we have to put the patient on a low salt balanced diet. Anybody with hypertensive issues should be really watching their sodium. Salt increases the blood pressure. Water is always going to follow salt. So if you have problems with fluid overload, you need to monitor your salt intake. Yes, that's the diet associated with this condition. And uh, when we talk about our nursing responsibilities, what are you supposed to be doing? Well, you need to recognize the signs and symptoms for NCLEX. You need to prevent the complications. So there are certain things that you can do. Uh, we're going to talk about the, this is going to come more into play in the question. So I'm not going to give you guys the answers right, right now. But there are certain things you need to do to prevent complications regarding medication administration. We want to prevent eclampsia as well, which is a progression of the disease. And then uh, to assist the, the physician with the delivery of a healthy baby. And then afterwards, we want to prevent 
postpartum bleeding or postpartum hemorrhaging. Now, are you guys ready for the, the questions? Because I'm done with the lecture. Like I said, I go over this in your B2 pregnancy lecture. You guys see it? All right, here we go. The nurse, the nurse is caring for a pregnant client diagnosed with preeclampsia. Which medication will be the priority to administer after a complete assessment? Ooh. All right. Number one, oxygen. Two, morphine. Three, heparin for magnesium sulfate. Here we go. The nurse is caring for a pregnant client diagnosed with preeclampsia. Which medication will be the priority to administer after a complete assessment? Okay. One oxygen, two morphine, three heparin, four magnesium. Rats. I'm looking at the comments. Rats. Okay. So, so y'all, so what? Y'all think y'all smart tonight? Y'all think that y'all smart because y'all got that first one? Uh, it is magnesium sulfate. I was expecting people to go for the oxygen. For real. For real. For real. I was expecting y'all to go for the oxygen. Anyways, y'all showed up right now. Magnesium sulfate is the agent most commonly used for the treatment of eclampsia and prophylaxis of eclampsia. Remember, so that's what we're trying to stop the progression of. Uh, so it's usually given I am or IV. Now, I should have said, what route is it given? That would have got y'all. But okay. Anyways, we move it on. It was number four. Mm. Oh, all right. Here's the next question. Here's the next question. Which of the following medications should be questioned in the treatment of preeclampsia? Is it number one, Ondanastrone, HCL? Nitidine, three, nephetopine, or four, intravenous fluids. We're talking about what should be questioned in the treatment of preeclampsia. Aha, I see a split in the atmosphere. Okay, all right, put your comments on the, put them in the comments. Go ahead and then also don't second guess yourself. So go with your first thought. Think about what we just talked about. Think about what we just went over. Think about it. And look, you got to know those generic names for NCLEX. You, if, you can't, you cannot be studying those trade names. I'm so glad you showed up. Hi, I said four out of four I was looking for. Will there be one person that gets four out of four? All right, I see the answers on the screen. Good job. Oh, 400, over 400 people watching. Okay, here we go. So the medication that we would be questioning for preeclampsia is going to be IV fluids. What we say? We said this person, we said this person has what? Edema, fluid overload already. If the doctor write me to give IV fluids to this patient, I'm gonna have to question the indication. Why are we giving IV fluids to a person that has hypertension to a person that has swelling in the face and in the hands. What's the reason why? All right. Um, the other things are okay. So if we look at it, I'm expecting to give medication. Um, Ondestron is for nausea. Okay. All right. Um, nitidine is for, this is a medication if a per person has um, acid reflux or GERD, which is common in pregnancy. Uh, Nephetopine, this is our this is our cardiac safe medication. All right, so we give this. We give this to keep the blood pressure down. IV fluids, uh-uh. What we giving IV fluids for? What's going on, okay? So critical thinking and also reading. You guys knew that answer. When, when I said it, you knew it. And so I'm happy with that, all right? Because you show up to Winning Wednesdays to win and to learn. And that's part of the process of getting your license, okay? All right, so here we go. Let's go back to, um, let's go back to the next question here. Boom, okay. Here we go. Oh, this is a good one. 
give this one to me. Give this to one to me. All right. Um, which social service concern should the nurse present to the client with preeclampsia? Okay. Number one, suicide watch. Two, weight loss counseling. Three, psychotherapy. Four, disability. Ah. Mm. What do y'all say? Woo! So glad you showed up today. So glad y'all showed up. I had so much fun writing writing these questions tonight. <laughs> I have so much fun writing these questions tonight because I said it's going to be somebody here that I get to stump. All right. <laughs> this is the critical thinking part. I see a lot of y'all picking two. Some people picking one, uh, four. Uh, what else? What is a social service concern? Social service concern means it's not medication related. All right. It's a social issue. It's a social issue outside of the disease process. So um, a, that's a really great question. So socially, all right, in relationship to outside life, okay, outside the hospital. What do you guys say? Number one, suicide wash. Two, weight loss counseling. Three, psychotherapy for disability. Okay. All right. The correct answer is, I hope you got this one right. It is disability Having preeclampsia is a debilitating condition, right? There are some things that we need to ask about. The patient is having headaches, blurry vision, right? They're not able to, uh, they're not able to do a lot of activity. We put patients on preeclampsia on bed rest, right? So they are not able to go to work. You can't go to work and have preeclampsia. Because why? You have to stay calm. You have to make sure that you're not having any stressors. Because if you do, then what's going to happen to the baby? The baby has to be born pre prematurely, which we don't want. So patients with preeclampsia can qualify for short short term disability. Did you did I stump you? Yes, did I stump you? Okay, all right. I know y'all was looking at that weight loss counseling. Leave that lady alone. She don't need weight loss counseling. She's retaining fluid. It's a short-term issue. <laughs> All right, here we go. Last question. Oh, man. Question number four. Which of the following adverse effects is most likely associated with mag sulfate? Okay. Number one, double vision hives. Two, respiratory depression, oliguria. Three, swollen tongue and muscle aches. Or four, slurred speech tachycardia. Hey, if you didn't study all day today, you mastering it. You dominating it right now. Pat yourself on the back for showing up to the live class here, making this a priority for yourself. I'm really, really, really encouraged to see so many people here winning Wednesday getting it in and the and the comments are kind of on one accord too i ain't mad at y'all right now i'm not mad at y'all the correct answer is going to be yes that respiratory depression in oliguria you got it you knew that adverse effects associated with mag sulfate include decreased respiration poor reflexes decreased urine output flushing and confusion so as we are giving medications, we also need to know what to look out for and also what to tell our patients what to look out for. So you guys did it. Hey, if you want to text me directly, this is the number to do it. You got to opt in, though, by texting the word NCLEX to 855 855-696-0132. 855-696-0132. And we have the 30-day challenge going on. For those of you who are just joining us, there's two things you can sign up for. Immediately, you can sign up for the 30-day challenge if you want to um, if you want to tap into what we're doing right now following the study calendar in V2. You go to readmarnurse.com forward slash 30 days. And in the next month in February, which is just literally a few weeks away, so looking forward to my birthday month, 
we're going to do love your nursing content and that's going to be february the 15th and 16th so if you want to participate in that class you can also go to remarnurse.com and just forward slash l o v e love l o v e love thank you so much guys for for just taking some time out we weren't on here very long but we made some progress in the subject of preeclampsia. And I see some of you guys got three out of four, right? Which is kind of cool. You should be feeling really good about yourself. I know the social services question was kind of a ringer, but I want you to, un I want you to expect the unexpected on your NCLEX um, and go in there knowing, hey, I won't know everything and that's okay, but I'll know what everybody else knows. I will know what everybody else should know. I'm doing my very best. And so that's the idea when you are pursuing a goal, just making sure that you're doing all that you can do in order to be the best, okay? So thank you guys so much for showing up to this class. And hey, I'll see you later. I'll see you inside of the V2. I'll see you around. You guys know where to find me. Subscribe to my YouTube channel or my Facebook page as well to know every time I go live, I might you never know. You, you never know. Okay. Um, usually at this time, I'll spend just like a few minutes, a few minutes, guys, just answering your questions about NCLEX or NCLEX V2. Uh, maybe even able to show you NCLEX V2 if you need to find something. I've been doing that recently. So put your, oh goodness, I'm on Mark's computer. Put your questions on the screen. Okay. If you have questions for me, if not, good night though. You can go get in a bed because it is late. Or if you're in the Philippines, it's the morning time for you. So you won't be getting in the bed. All right, questions. What we have? Some of you had preeclampsia and you are testifying that preeclampsia is no joke. Yeah. I said, should I be using another resource with the $89 package or everything I need in NCLEX is there? Everything you need in NCLEX is there. Um, as, as far as your your NCLEX knowledge, the major points from the test plan, that's in the V2 lectures and your quick facts book. So if you master those two, if you finish those two, then you are on a, a great track. The question bank in the V2 too, spend some time in there. You're going to be able to evaluate yourself really good in the question bank. So I think there's enough in V2 to keep you busy. I think there's enough in V2 to keep you busy. Okay. Arlene, severe preeclampsia patient. Ah, I'm so glad you're well now. Raquel, I love QBank. I'm so happy that you do. Get in there, get in there. I'm adding questions. Um, I'm adding questions to it every day. Um, I can't access farm. Okay, so if you have a specific question, what happens is you need to email me at support at remarreview.com because we have um, the V2 developer sitting down with you guys. Team Remar is talking to you guys personally. We have meetings every morning with students. I, I know even some students got some gift cards for just spending time with us. So please make sure you're emailing support at remarreview.com because V2 is a new technology and we have, you guys would not believe the questions we have where people are like, I can't log into V2. And then when the developers sit down with them, they're like, signing up with V2 with a different email and then trying to log in with the email. So we will be, listen, whatever issues you have, support at remarreview.com. We'll get to the bottom of it for sure. Okay, somebody says this, should I finish the 30 days before I do the test bank? Mm, well, Wendy, here's the thing. The test bank is there to help you uh, as, well, let me say this do the study calendar because during the 30 days, there's actually time allotted for you to get into the question bank. So towards the back half of the study calendar, I actually have you going in there for like, I don't know, 60 minutes, 30 minutes, depending on the day. Okay. So you don't have to finish the 30 day calendar uh, before getting into the question bank because it's incorporated in there. Uh, let's see. Am I going to get the V2 delivered to my home address? Great question. We get this a lot. Remember, guys, the V2 workbook is a downloadable workbook. So you get it actually from your file vault. I also email it to you as well. 
when you sign up for it, but it won't be coming in the physical mail. You, you're able to download it and print it right away. Okay. All right. Um, uh, okay. Off the subject, I'm a bit confused on epinephrine and norepinephrine. It's common because typically when you're learning about these two medications, it is in conjunction with the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous system. Now, epinephrine typically works on the sympathetic nervous system, which is your fight or flight response. And so that's going to make uh, pretty much your body go into a state of alert, right? Um, the, the norepinephrine is seen working on the parasympathetic nervous system. And so that's more your rest and digest response. So when you have norepinephrine um, activated, your body is more in a relaxed mode, is trying to maintain a homeostasis. There's no sense of danger. Okay. I did do a full, I, I did a full uh, review on these two things. Uh, check my YouTube channel for the scary topics, all right, of NCLEX, because I think in pharmacology, I went over these two, um, all right? So the YouTube channel will be good for you. Okay. Need endocrine lectures. Do you have V2? If you have, I can't remember. Raquel, did you tell me that you have V2? You say you had the question bank, you love the question bank, but in the V2, I go over um, diabetes mellitus and endocrine overview. The things that you need to know for NCLEX are in those, in those lectures, okay? Um, can you do bulimia and anorexia? Um, somebody, do you have quick facts? Because bulimia nervosa and anorexia nervosa are both in quick facts for NCLEX. And for some reason, I don't have my quick facts with me. But if you guys have quick facts, can you put the page that that's on? All right. Because those two are, those two do need to be understood, but they're in the quick facts for NCLEX book. Okay. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So again, DM me, uh, DM me and also support a Remar review. Okay. That's where I'm going to be able to sit down and look at your account and things like that. All right. Uh, oh, okay. This is a, this is a tech problem. Um, in the V2, I'm having problems with the highlight questions. Do I click highlight first and then highlight that portion? Okay. Great question. No, you have it backwards. If you go to the uh, the homepage of V2, there are some videos that I do that tell you how to do those questions, the next gen questions in V2. What you do is you highlight the text that you want, and then you click highlight to highlight that text. So you select the text that you want, um, and then you put the highlight button on it, and it'll highlight it for you. Okay. All right. Good, good stuff. Good stuff. Okay. These are the pages for bulimia nervosa and anorexia nervosa. What package do you recommend for a beginner living in, in Africa? Okay. Yeah. For a beginner living in Africa or Nigeria, Nigeria, Africa, Philippines, China, Russia, United States, I'm just going to say, start with the V2 because those are lectures. And the difference, I get this question a lot. What's the difference between Remar and UWorld or, you know, Remar and somebody else? The content is the difference. All right. And it's a better NCLEX review. So you're going to be able to sit down in a classroom style setting. I'm going to be speaking to you and I'm going to be telling you the major points, kind of like what we did tonight. So if you like what we did tonight, where we look at actual subjects together, not just doing questions about the subject, but actually sitting down and discussing the subject, then that's going to be extremely helpful to you as an international student. The rigor of the nursing program in the United States is typically a lot more strenuous. The knowledge required is, a, um, is to a greater level of difficulty in the United States. So I would definitely recommend the V2 to help you increase your knowledge and also brush up on fundamentals that you learned in nursing school. 
is there a senior citizens discount available? Uh, the discount that we have is for all ages, right? So our NCLEX review program right now is probably about 50 or 60% less than others uh, offering the same thing. So typically I see NCLEX reviews for $300, $200. And some of that is, some of them is just, a, you can get a question bank for $200. Our NCLEX review is only $89. It's only $89. And that's content plus questions, plus next generation questions. So it's a good deal. It's a good deal. And that's for 60 days. Okay. All right. Um, What else? What else? What else? <sighs> can I buy V2RN if I'm taking P and NCLEX? Uh, you could, but Anna, just get the V2 for PN. There's a there's a PN V2. So get that one. Okay. Uh, what else? Sounds great. All right. On the question bank, how do we create the test? On the question bank, how do you create the test? Uh, how can I show you? I want to be able to show you guys. Let's see if Mark comes up. Let's see if we can summons Mark to come up and start up his computer. <laughs> can you please come in here? No, people want to see you. <laughs> All right, Mark doesn't want to be seen. Okay, look, just show me how to do it. Is this it right here? Here it is. Is this your, is this your, okay. All right. So I'm in the V2. I'm going to show you how to create a question and then let's just move to, if you have certain questions about V2, let's look at V2 and let's do them together. Okay. All right. Let's, um, so we're going to go into the question bank guys. All right. And we're going to, so this is the question bank. Okay. I'm going to show how to create a test. I'm going to show how to create a test here. Okay. So when you go to create new test, right. When you go to creating a test, it's going to pop up. And what you need to do first is enter a test name. Now, somebody said, Regina, why, why do I have to enter a test name? Um, you have to enter a test name because V2 keeps track of your exams for you. Okay. So that's why. And then you can, you know, you can do all of the questions. Well, the difficulty level here has to be acknowledged. So, you know, the moderate has the most questions here, okay? Um, so you can choose to do moderate questions and it's gonna populate how many we have in the V2. Right now, the RN, when we launched V2, we had, when we launched V2 in the RN, we had like 1,100 questions. There's now 1,700 questions. So every day I'm putting in more and more questions for you guys. So right now RN has 1,700. So let's go back into it. We can click any of these subjects. Remember the next gen items, you don't have to do them, okay? You don't have to do them. If you want to, you can. So let me do um, let me do some next gen items here. Maybe that's maybe we'll get a highlight question because I know somebody had a highlight question. Um, no, if you have quick facts, the V2 is only $69. If you already have my quick facts for NCLEX, it's, it's 60, um, it's just $69. So that's really good. Okay. And I'm going to list, let's do like 20 questions and maybe there'll be a highlight question in here for you. All right. So that's how you start. That's how you create a test. Really seriously. That's how you create a test and it'll tell you that your test is created. And so I'm just going to click through here. It, it's, it's set up to look like the NCLEX exam. It's going to give you your feedback right away. It'll tell you if you got it right. If you didn't get it right, there's also partial credit as well in here. So um, that's important too for you guys to know. It's one of the benefits. I'm just clicking, select all that apply right here. Mark is feeling better after his dental appointment, but he has to go back tomorrow for the real, for the real, you know, the first dental appointment, we thought it was going to be, no, it was just evaluation. Tomorrow's the big thing. Okay. All right. All right. So we're just doing questions. This is how we created it. Okay. 
Now, some of the, um, you guys have to remember, cause you may be saying, why am I seeing, um, why am I just seeing the, the standard questions? Remember with next gen, next gen is going to be a compilation of the current testing format plus the bow tie, the highlighting, all these things as well. So when you think about the NCLEX that's coming, understand that they're going to have um, the regular items in them too as well. So I'm looking, looks like it the, the, the QBank generated, select all that apply and also standard items. So I may have to create another test, but we'll see. We have 20 questions to go through. All right. So lots of select all that apply in the moderate level. I personally love select all that apply questions because, okay, so here is a case. Is this a case study? Okay, here's a case study. Here's a case study for you guys. Um, somebody said, I skipped that. This is a, considered a closed drop down based off of uh, this case study here. Okay. All right. And so this is why we say this is a better NCLEX review because you guys do get access to your case study questions and they are going to oh, and they'll even tell you V2 will even tell you when more like if it's a select all that apply or select one that apply V2 will stop you and tell you that you have not um, followed the rules. All right. Let's see. Select all that apply, extended responses here because you can have more than one answer choice. Oh, only one option is right in this one. And this is this is a um, multiple matrix question. I love these questions. I treat these questions as true or false questions when you see them. Okay, all right. And we're looking at whether a patient has improved or unimproved. All right, perfect. Okay, now we can check our answers. And again, V2 will give you the rationales. Somebody asked, what is uh, somebody asked, what is the difference between the $69 package and the $89 package? Both you will get the Q bank that you see here. It's just whether you get the quick facts book or not. Okay, it's whether you get the quick facts book or not. I'm 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 waiting for a highlight question to pop populate. So just give me a moment, okay, Raquel. Just give me a second. Um let's see. Question here are the quick facts sent on the day you order or the day that your program starts if you have a delayed start? So typically the quick facts will be uh, sent out the next day. Even if you're doing a delayed start, the way the system works is that when you put that order in, it will generate a um, it will generate the trigger to send out your book. OK. All right. There's some scammers on here, so please do not pay attention to anybody offering to take your money without giving you anything because that's what's going to happen. All right. OK. And I don't know if we're going to, we're at 16 already with our question. Let's see. That's the answer. Partial credit. We were looking for a highlight question here. I might have to generate another test. That's fine. See, there's a lot of, plenty of questions. Tutor mode. And I don't know if we're going to get a highlight this one. The final question. Is it a highlight question? Let's see. It's not a highlight question. That's okay. We'll, um, We'll just finish this. V2 will tell us how we did. We did. <laughs> we did not great. All right. This is our results. So let's go and um, let's go to the homepage and let's just generate. We're going to just generate a new test. OK. All right. Um, OK, let's go. Let's try to generate another test. And we're going to make sure that we put the um, the next gen items. Let's see. Let's do uh, let's do case studies. Cause there, I know that there's, I know that, the, oh wait, let's do, let me go to the moderate case studies. I know there's highlighting in the moderate case studies. Oh, I got to put a name in here. Hold on. Um, Regina's winning Wednesday exam. Okay. Let's do that. And let's take a test version of it. 
moderate, boom, boom, boom. Let's do the case studies and let's do, we'll just do 17 until we, we'll do this until we come to one, okay? All right, okay, all right, oh yes. Is in the moderate category. Okay. Um, should we wait for April 1st to take NCLEX or should we take the NCLEX before? No, no, no. Don't, don't do this to yourself. No. If you could take it before next gen starts, please take it before next gen starts. Okay. Just, just don't even, don't even do this to yourself. Okay. So this is a case study. Let's, uh, let's go through it. Three options. All right. So let me, let me do three options here. Okay. Let's do the, okay. This is a drop down. Bam. Is, did the patient, is the patient stable? Is the patient declined or have they improved? And again, for case studies, you have to be ready to answer all six questions in this case study. And they are challenging because it's a lot of reading. It's a lot of reading, which, um, and you, you have about two minutes to do it. Okay, you have about two minutes to do it. Um, how can quick facts be used with V2? Quick facts is used with V2 because, all right, so here's a highlighting question. Are you ready? Are you ready, Raquel? This is for you. All right, highlighting question. So what you need to do is you need to choose the text that you want and then put the highlight button like that. Okay. Um, choose what you want. Say if you want all this, put the highlight button. And if you don't want to do it, like, oh man, I messed up. I didn't read it. I just, just hit the X. All right. Now I'm assuming this is how it's going to work in with the NCLEX. We tried to build this system as closely to the NCLEX um, information that was given by NCBSN. So this is how our highlighting system works. All right. Yes, this is a next gen NCLEX question. And so in the QBank, uh, you guys will have these. Uh oh, let's see. Let me do it again. Hold it right there and highlight. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Stay there. Highlight. Okay. And then after iron, you got you got to go right away. Like when you do this, don't fool around and try to go place. Just go right to the highlight button so that it highlights it. Okay. All right. Okay, so the case studies will have these among the other question types as well. We do have all 14 question types in V2. So you guys should be able to get plenty of practice even right now. And here's my thing. Even if you're not taking next gen NCLEX, challenge yourself. Just challenge yourself. All right. So yes, um, after you choose the answer, then you highlight it. You don't highlight it before, okay? All right, guys. So when, so on the actual, oh, this is a good question. All right, so I'm transitioning back to general NCLEX questions. Thank you, Raquel, for that segue into V2. It was helpful. So on the actual exam, highlight will be available. Yes, on your actual NCLEX exam, Highlight will not only be available, but it will be mandatory for you to do. You're not going to be able to skip or go past any of the next gen items. Okay. Um, let's see. I finished my content last night. Just read. Just need to pass the, the last two exams at the end. Okay, cool. Perfect. All right. Um, so if that is it, guys, I know we could probably be here on all night. But email me support at remarreview.com so that I can address your needs. Some things take a little bit longer than others. If you are not sure how to use the V2 or you have questions about it, we'll try to direct you to uh, the directions. If not, you could even you know sit down with a developer and they can explain V2 to you. But the whole idea is that we're going to be here for um, helping you facilitate your studying. Okay. And we're putting a lot, I hope we're putting a lot of time and effort for you guys to be uh, confident in, and, and we're only charging $89. That's what I have to like, this entire system is $89 guys, literally giving it away right now. So I want you to see it as something that you can invest in, understand that we're here to help you 
those of you guys who have sat down with the, the developers who are like tech guru geniuses that are taking time out to sit down with Remar nurses and explain to you how to log into V2 or, you know, how to use a, a, a select all that apply question. These are huge resources that Mark and I are making available to you guys. So please, we're just asking that number one, you see it as something that is helpful and meaningful to you. And then you understand that everybody's working for your good. We're all here to help you and support you, not just like, you know, having you buy something and then you never hear from us again. We want you to email, we want you to contact us. Uh, can it take a day or two for us to get back to you? Absolutely. Absolutely, it can. But understand, Team Remar is working around the clock. Okay. All right, guys. So I'm going to get off here. Uh, it's 10 o'clock right now. I'm going to get off here. I have to input some things into V2 for you. More questions. The questions that you've seen tonight will be in the V2. So you'll be able to do them in the question bank and keep going. All right. 30 day challenge is still on. Please sign up for Love Your Content Inclex Review. That's coming. But it's back to studying now, guys. So I'll see you inside of V2. 